so I just ripped this guy apart. I just went off on this guy. I took the gloves off. Now let's take a look at this fucking thing he sent me, this video, because he won't post his own. Now listen to this guy. I want you to pay attention to the psychology of trading while you watch this and why level two in depth of market and level five in OT8 has nothing to fucking do with making money. This is what he sent me, and this he says that this is how he, this guy trades. So here's the video he sent me. Okay, this is from May 2nd, 2014, and just want to talk a little bit about a trade setup. Uh, this was a non-farm payroll day, and the uh, the report came out at 8.30. Uh, you can see it's uh, 10.42 in the morning, so, so a couple hours after that. Okay, so he missed the big money. He couldn't trade the non-farm payroll, which I do, and I make money on that because I have really wide orders, and um, they're placed wide. So I can trade the news. This pussy's coming in at 10 o'clock when the market's dead in the water, and he's going to scalp. You know, price had, you can see here the ranges, the Globex high, Globex low, price had come, you know, just shot down. See this big fucking order down here at the bottom? You know, this guy thinks I'm a fucking idiot. Why didn't he buy down here? Right? What the fuck? I just love to see this guy trade. Six years of trading. Eight years of trading, six years he figured out a way to scalp. Great. But shut the fuck up when you're tell, telling me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, you just don't understand. You didn't read what... I read what you said, dude. And I've asked you questions point blank you won't answer. Like, what's your win rate? Now listen to the psychology in this guy. Listen to him. Down, it was a big. I spit him. I spent him up uh, 25 percent though. Uh, surprise number that had come out for the employment report, and we're kind of. Here, let me let me let me slow him down at normal speed. Here, I don't want to distort this beautiful video. It's three minutes, right? At trading back here, we've been trading in this range between 124, 18 and a half, 124, 16, and. Uh... See, this is in quarter. Uh, it's in a five roll off there. It's very small, very small range trading there, right? Um, what we're what you're going to see here is as prices start to come back to this 124, 15 and a half. Now, um, I'm looking at this because it's the Globex low um, and also the 16 area because that's a area where we've got a, a pretty big step here between 16 and 15 and a half. Notice that, you know, as price is pushing down. Notice the market just moved and he's not in. And it's not really pushing down with a lot of volume. If this stuff works, why isn't he trading it right now? Volume is really kind of weak. You know, 680, 640 contracts coming down. And we see some strengthening that's happened. So it's kind of like the bulls, you know, notice 1100 here. So like, as you get down to this spot, um, you know, the bulls strengthen up. The bears are pretty weak. And you're going to see a really small print come in here. Um, yeah, I was, here I was kind of thinking about it, changing my mind. He was thinking about it, changing his mind. This is my whole point. If this shit works, why is he changing his mind? He can see all this depth. He can see Bill Gates' orders, right? He can see Elon Musk putting in a trade. See, trading's about psychology. So... It's not about how big your dick is and how big you can put on a one position and you can risk and say, oh, well, I'm not paying the bid. I'm just paying commissions. Okay, you found a safe space because you hate the spread and you, and you think that a broker's a bucket shop. I don't know who's executing his trade unless he's sitting on the exchange. He bought a seat on the exchange for what, uh, what they, $500,000 now? And uh, luckily I did end up... Do they have seats on the exchange anymore? Yep sitting in here it's hard to keep up i mean he hasn't kept up he traded six years ago on forex when there was requotes the world's not like that anymore dude you, you just gotta you gotta move on it's a brave new world so 233 see how small that was so you know the bears are pretty much giving up at this point coming back down here i think they saw this as maybe a, a, a... maybe i don't want to hear maybe's buddy this is fucking D-O-M, depth of market. Trap. Uh, oh, it could be a trap. Right? That's where I buy. I buy the traps. I buy your stops off you. 
if I was trading this shit, I'd kill this guy in this fucking ZN contract. What are the fuck he's trading? Um, and um, you can see that the iceberg is absorbing right here. There you go. Absorption. I did a whole thing on this. You know, they they showing a small small number here on the on the bid. Um, bears are hitting into the bid, and it's just absorbing. So right now we're at thirteen hundred contracts, and now you're gonna start to see him pop that back up. So you see that sweep, that seventeen hundred right there, and now four hundred eighty six, six hundred. It doesn't take a lot to push them up to the next price. And it's just going to cascade from here. So now you see the bears just completely give up. I'm obviously feeling really great <laughs> about this trade right now. Mark. See, he's feeling he's feeling great about the trade. Did he need to look at all those numbers? If that's what you need to make money, then I get it, right? But admit to that. You feel, I'm scared about trading just price. He said he wasn't scared. Who's not scared of losing money? I, who's not scared of something? You mean to tell me you have no fear? And then he's saying, and this thing, oh, you just don't give a shit. If you give a shit, then you can't see the market. See, he gives a shit. Which means if you give a shit, you're concerned, you're scared. Right? Already up. I don't know how many ticks, and it was, this is real time. This is even sped up. And right up here, as soon as I see this start to print right here, I get out here at 21. I saw that big number print. He gets out. Why doesn't he just move it? Why doesn't he just hold it? Right. He's going to get out the scalpers. It popped right back down. And I think eventually it does maybe make its way up. But um, it was an, a perfectly executed entry and exit, which is very, you know, for me, it's very rare. It's very rare for him. I think it's rare for anybody. So what I'm talking about is the certainty that you're going to put on this DOM. Market depth is going to give you more certainty. It didn't seem he's surprised he even fucking won on this trade. So I get really excited about these when I do these things right. But you know, just to wow, does he blow his brains out when he gets it wrong? See, this is the thing. If you give a shit, if you if you get a euphoric winning, you're going to blow your brains out when you lose. Really good example to stick with it. You know, um, that uh, as you start to see things, you're going to have these. Um, golden trades that happen where uh, everything falls in line, everything works great. You can see I'm, I'm kind of messing around here on my, my SIM account, getting rid of stuff. But I just wanted to share this. That uh... And he's on a simulated account. So the thing is, is that if that was true, you know, I mean, he's, he's euphoric. He must have, he must have lost another, another couple of trades, right? And now he's finally making it back. If you think professional trading doesn't, that you don't lose money, then you're just, you're in Disneyland. And if you think depth of market's gonna save you, okay. But you, you really not, you're just lazy. <laughs> you're just lazy. Manual trading, I guess he's not lazy, but manual trading in such a big tech environment, and they're relying on all these numbers and Bill Gates coming in. Uh, there is, um, you know, some great opportunities out there following these rules, um, looking at the order flow. Um, you can get more than a two or three tick winner um, when things start to go your way. Did you hear that he just said? You can get more than a two or three tick winner. Holy fuck me. If my target was five pips all day, I blow the doors off this fucking uh, T note trader. Come on, people, be, be don't be ridiculous. I'm still waiting for them to see his fucking broadcast. Just it's just so ridiculous, man. It's just so utterly ridiculous. 